ハローモイスティーズ<笑>アンドブッシュピグス<笑>ウェルカムトゥーザホーネッツネスト<笑>面白そう It's Mountain Terrace Bangin' Tuesday. So, welcome to all the regulars who are already in the chat.、Uh, it's lovely to have you on board so soon. Wow. Pixel Culture. Oh, yeah, this record skips.、Uh, Raspberry, Tater. Muzz is in the house. Easy, Muzz. Muzz, big week for you, buddy. Muzzy's album comes out this week. I remember those feels. It was terrifying. It's going to smash it, bro. <laughs> I'm playing a little bit of、uh, Charlie Low Noise and Mental Theo just cause. It seemed like a good way to kick off things. Except this fucking record is 100 years old and it skips like a, like a skipping thing. I'll see if I can mix out of it. Muzz has asked in the chat, are we doing a happy hardcore set tonight? Well, so far, yes. Coke can's over there, I've got to turn him on. I moved it. The Coke can is on, the cheddar is warm. I'd love to tell you that I've put hours and hours and hours of planning into tonight's set, but I'd be bullshitting. So, tonight we're having a mix, well, I'm having a mix of all of、uh, those records down there, which are、uh, my favourite ravey ones. And we'll see where we go. It says a little bit of side camera action tonight. Yeah, I stuck it up there. Just cause. Maybe you can watch、uh, a real DJ at work, huh?
Coke can can't have the spotlight every week. Jacob Welsh says in the chat, Muzz HQ ain't Muzz, is he? Like the Muzz? It's the Muzz. The Muzz is in the house. And uh, he's getting grilled in the chat. Is your album coming out on vinyl, Muzz? Well, being Monster Cat, I would doubt it. Monster Cat don't release vinyl, do they? Seventy nine. Thank, thank you for the subscription, my friend. Appreciate that. The chat is calling for the Mars album on vinyl. I second the motion. Jacob's asking, why am I so cheery today? Am I not normally cheery, Jacob? me a miserable shit. Uh, actually, I'm in a good mood. I don't know why. I don't need a reason. Uh, pixel. It goes over the pits tomorrow. Cross your fingers for me. So everyone that's just jumped in, welcome to Mountain Terrace Tuesdays inside the hornet's nest. I'm feeling a little bit happy and a little bit hardcore. So this is how we're kicking things off. There is a very good chance I've played some of these on here before, but they're my favorites. It's all good.
nice one, Matka. Out in the gold fields. Respect, brother. Be safe on the roads. How many wheels you got? Good. That was real good. Tuesday anthems, my goodness. Nick's a fox. Did not. Okay, probably did. Nick's a fox is in the chat talking about the old uh, Technoscape forums, the dance music forums of Perth, saying that uh, <laughs> we used to roast him slash her for their hardcore collection. Did not. Absolutely did. Yeah, I thought you were a her. I didn't want to. Uh, it's been such a long time. Did we know each other in person? No, your, your username's definitely familiar, but you know, I'm fairly brain dead these days and can't remember much.
Big shout out to Two Bad Mice in the chat. Oh, featured in The Guardian this week. Legends. That's a strong look, Simon. Yes, Bucky. Love that. Well done. So, gang, um, yeah, for about a year and shit, it must be a year and two months or something, I've been working on this goddamn um, Hashiroku tune, and uh, I, I sort of put it behind me and said it was finished. You know, the first Mountain Terrace kind of hardcore tune, and then um, I was sorting out the vinyl release that I'm going to press up of it, and I just thought, it's not finished. So I managed to find a couple of hours this week to work on it, and uh, it's finished, finally. It feels kind of strange to say a tune's finished when you've already had it remixed by someone, but I just needed to add some little moist bits to it. Uh, So I'm going to play that right freaking now. That's exactly what I'm doing. I haven't heard it through these speakers before, so... I don't want to say it's not done and it needs other things. But yeah, this is uh, Mountain Terrace, Hachiroku. My tribute to the uh, initial D manga. It's fucking done, that's it. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I started this in 2018, I think. I might go into some uh, new upfront hardcore after this.
definitely things that need fixing. <laughs> I'm not going to do it though. It's done. Okay, a couple of new things. Some new Night Force. Lunacy, My Angel, remixed by E-Tank. Man has a tank of ease. Jacob. Come on, mate. Cheesy, thank you for the sub. Love ya. Tuesday in the Hornet's Nest. We're 
banging out the stompy ones tonight. Taters in the chat on his uh, on his goey. Jesus. Welcome, Nora Lock, in the chat. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Unstoppable Night Force Machine. So the new remix of Perfect Dreams. Peaches is in the chat. Hello. All the regulars in there. Bucky, Mars, Sheriff Kev, Gang. So while you guys are all chatting to yourselves in the chat, I might, uh, on camera, share with you a special experience. Uh, It's really hard ordering records from around the world at the moment, especially to somewhere as far away as Australia. 
But I finally got some fucking post and I got a new record today. So I'm going to open it and then play it. Exciting times. The joy of new old records. I've wanted this record for a long time. And even better is it's in perfect condition and it's 25 years old. Yay! Baby, won't you be my Yes, Matka, you know it. If I was going to use an alias for side projects making rave music, it had to be that. Okay, so my unboxing. <laughs> that was strange, actually. New record in the house. Uh, normally, I wouldn't get so excited about one new single record, but given the the world is trying to fist itself, post to Australia is fucking tricky at the moment. Uh, a local DJ by the name of Rouser has told me that he was waiting two months for post from the UK, and everything was arriving warped, which uh, is a fucking nightmare. So I'm going to play this record that's turned up from... Uh, I think I bought this from someone in Belgium, actually. And uh, it took a couple of weeks to arrive, and lo and behold, there it is. And uh, I've had this record on my wants list for a long, long time. It's a whole lot slower than what I was just playing, so we're kind of ducking back to 1995 now. But if you recognize this, you'll know uh, why I wanted this record so bad. I'm going to let it play, intro and all. Let's go. Snary in the chat says, El Hornet unleashes his 12 inches on unprepared viewers. I mean, especially seeing they're so young. I'm not sure if they could handle the full 12 inches. First person to name this tune, I'll send you a, uh, a Salami Slim. In the post. So it'll be nice and sweaty. Our pixels already got it. Well done. Actually, have you? I need the full title. No Shazam allowed. the best piano of all time.
Benny Lance comes correct. As uh, Spenny Lance has mentioned, this is, well, you didn't actually say who it was by. It's by Justin Time. Sweet in My Pocket, remixed by Force and the Air Evolution on uh, just another label, 1995. Doesn't get much better. Oh, and Love Foundations on the flip. You know what? I'm going to do something unprecedented. I'm going to let this play through and when it finishes, I'm going to turn it over and play the other side. Because the other side is just as good. And if you don't get what the sweet in my pocket refers to, you need to do some more sweets. Should have done some sweets tonight. Would have made the stream real interesting. I'm never going to do sweets on the stream. Ever. That would be fucking a nightmare. I think that's maybe the first and last hardcore tune with a MIDI uh, MIDI trumpet of some kind in it. But hey, it works. You know, if I ended up doing sweets in the stream, I just wouldn't mix the next record. I'd just stand here going, what happened? Or I'd probably just uh, dance to the sound of the Coke can's engine moving over there. Or lay on the floor and try and lick my earlobes. Okay, I'm going to just turn it over and play the other side. Too excited to have a new record. It's um, after buying... Five and a half thousand of the goddamn things. You think I wouldn't be that stoked, but hey, new vinyl, man. It's a beautiful thing. On this side is a musical foundation remix. You you will know this tune. You should know this tune. Mars is that for? Uh, is asking me. Is that from experience? Yes.
man, we used to go to... I was going to tell a story. I'm not going to tell it. It's embarrassing. It's a nice long breakdown. The chat is demanding the story. How about I put it on 33? No, that would suck. I'll just press stop. Um, I was going to tell a story about the time that I... <laughs> we used to do these raves in like a roller skating rink. A couple of different ones uh, in Perth. And uh, we would put big, thick felt curtains around the outside of them so the sound wouldn't bounce off um, so bad. And one time... I had a few too many sweets, maybe just the right amount of sweets. And I, there was like a, the curtains had extra, so it like bunched up on the floor. And I fucking rolled myself up inside it like a taquito and laid there gurning like a demon. I forget who was playing. I think it was a Perth DJ called Foxy who was playing proper piano bangers. And I was just rolled up in this curtain sweating like a sweaty thing, licking my freaking earlobes, having the time of my life. No regrets. Just the right amount of sweets. You made me, me, yeah. uh, Matt Kerr, it wasn't the Morley one, it was the one in uh, O'Connor. Where we did uh, Wax Off 2. Curly Roller says that's barely embarrassing. I haven't finished. has asked a pendulum question. You can leave. Uh, you don't have to leave. I'm just not going to uh, address that. Not on Tuesdays. And anyway, uh, if you want new pendulum music, just listen to old pendulum music that you've forgotten about, and then it's new again. We are releasing a single, though. Not an album. Never said we're going to do an album. They're too hard. Not today, mate.
you're just joining us now, welcome friend, or foe, whatever. Uh, it's El Hornet, apparently from Pendulum, in the Hornet's Nest on a Tuesday night, banging out some rave classics. Not exactly sure where we're headed after this record, but uh, it will have pianos, I'm sure of it. Stems is asking what happened after the curtain burrito. Well, I had to DJ. I've been rolled up in a curtain gurning my fucking bananas off for an hour or five and then I had to go and play because I expected that the bean that I dropped wouldn't uh, carry on as long as it did. And uh, back in those days, everything was just vinyl, a DJ mixer with no, well, actually very similar setup to what I'm playing on now, a two-channel DJ mixer with no effects. You could not hide. And if you're a little bit, hey, it was definitely uh, a challenge. Standing up in front of one of the biggest PA systems in Western Australia. Mash up, trying to play drum and bass. I believe it made me the man that I am today. I used to maintain that I had played on some of the best and worst setups ever before Pendulum, and uh, that kind of was a good apprenticeship uh, to playing gigs all around the world. But I never used to say that I did half of them off my fucking head. Probably not half of them. I just did a few. You know, it was like the early 2000s. Uh, uh, the beans were flowing free and there was no responsibilities in life and all I could care less about was buying more records and the rave that I was going to the weekend after. So yeah, but hey, you've got to pay that love back with interest, right? Every bean got harder and harder to recoup from. But I have no regrets. Emil K is in the chat. Welcome, sir. Nice to have you on board. I have not seen you in person for a freaking long time, bro. I hope everything is good. So we're rinsing... Piano and Happy Tuesday. It's the Mountain Terror session. Where for some reason we end up talking about uh, illicit drugs and all of the fun things we did when we are on them. Julian Fade says, do we get 90s Eurodance Tuesdays? You don't have to ask twice. MLK, I still have them. They're in this room, probably somewhere on camera, you'll be able to see them. I just don't know exactly where. Custard Factory was a vibe, wasn't it?
Ah, oh, Jacob. Thank you, mate. Good morning to Tasha Baxter, just joined us. Welcome. How's it? Tune ID on this one, DJ's Unknown Volume 4. Might play a little bit of uh, DJ Jedi next. He's changed his name of his label from uh, Jedi Recordings to Cantina Cuts. Cantina Cuts. I like Jedi Recordings more. Butterscotch flavour, welcome to the chat. vinyl I can never find anything in this room I'm gonna play something I play every time I play a Tuesday stream just cuz you'll know what that is if you know what that is you know what it is it is what it is it's way too fast to mix into this I've actually got this Jedi tune on plus eight it's too fucking slow there is a Lunacy remix of this on the other side, but I think I like the original more. Uh, 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 okay, Cheese Anthem incoming. Are you ready?
Ooh, Tony Hawk's comes out in like four days, doesn't it? I'm going to have to buy a fucking PS4 to play one game. I just don't have time to play more than one game. Take a look inside. Show me what you find. Uh, Detroit Jimmy. Well, that's a revelation, isn't it? These vocals are Jennifer Bolton as well, did heaps of drum and bass tunes. dropping some knowledge in the chat he says he likes to think of pendulum as the power rangers with me being the beard vinyl ranger i'll take that (laughs) thank you So we're at 69 viewers once again. That seems to be the magic number.
I really didn't know how it would go if I uh, kept streaming. You know, a lot of people started doing streams and then did a couple weeks worth and then stopped. I'm still enjoying it. And yeah, yeah we've definitely got a, a cool bunch of kids in this, uh, in this chat. I love it. You guys are awesome. Thanks for supporting me. You know, I actually, I, n- I never really thought of it of like you supporting me, but that's what it is, isn't it? The fact that some of you wake up at six o'clock in the morning to come and uh, to come and jam out—it's amazing. And massive shouts to Bucky and Raspberry for recording these streams. Storm uh, Ari says, I think a lot of people expected to make instant dollars. Yep, absolutely. I think people were uh, were kind of thinking of streaming as like, oh, well, I'm not on stage anymore. That's my cash cow. Hell no. No chance. Mary Stem says, as long as you're enjoying it, we will show up. I love this. This is like this is like the first time in my entire music career I've been able to actually play all of my records and have people give a shit. <laughs> I used to always try and squeeze all the songs I liked in between pendulum songs in DJ sets, and now I don't have to squeeze. Jimmy says it's also interesting that we're encouraged to talk to the DJ while he plays yeah isn't that different normally I'd have someone a henchman trying to shoo you away from the deck so you couldn't talk to any uh, to any uh, of the artists or me maybe in a club that's not the place either you always get mash heads come up and say blah, 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 Rob Swire blah, 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 Rob Swire blah, blah, blah. and I'm just like fuck off man but this is different that guy Mr. Bishy used to be one of those guys come up and ask me fucking Rob, Rob Swire questions fuck off so I also have noticed that um, the podcast edition of the Hornet's Nest is doing pretty good out there in podcast land uh, so I stick them up Whenever I get sent them, stick a little intro on it. And uh, if you're listening to this right now via podcast, send me a tweet or something or an Instagram or a um, smoke signal, carry a pigeon, I don't fucking care. But uh, it's awesome that uh, that these have now made, their, made it into the digital realm rather than just being live streaming. Um, and I've noticed that the stream numbers have gone up as well. So maybe it's uh, maybe it's people sort of finding out about the stream via me talking about the podcast. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Jacob Welsh says, uh, when is the next Knife Party track j- dropping? You know, Jacob, in the chat, I actually have the power to ban you. I can silence you for a an amount of minutes of my choosing, and you won't know. So watch it, buster. Turn up the music! Thank you. 
Okay, Jacob. Uh, Jacob says, am I allowed to ask questions about your vinyl in particular? Yes. Go on then. Jacob. I'm so bringing out the band hammer. You know, my favourite thing about having Jacob Welch in the chat was last week, he called himself a bumder. I'd never heard bumder before. So Moisties, Bush Pigs and Jacob the Bumder, we're a motley crew. Exactly. I love having Jacob in the chat as well. Comes out with the most fucking amazingly random things. Like calling himself a bumder. Bumder Tuesdays featuring Jacob Welsh. a story about Gaz's hat. I remember the first time I went on tour in America, 17 freaking long years ago, obviously Gaz always wore the same black hat and I guess he couldn't get them in Australia and he asked me to go to the black hat factory as my tour was going near it and get him a box of the black hats. whole box What 
what I don't understand is why more people don't call him MC Grillin. He's the MC Mook Grillin. MC Grillin. So I don't know what kind of cap it was. I guess it was like a, you know, not like a starter or like some brand like that. Hang on. Comes a big vocal bit of the tune. I'll talk about Gaz's hats another time. like flexi fit or something and that i guess that's where they made them was like north carolina or somewhere i don't know to Wes. See you next time, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. Take it easy.
should do a track list, shouldn't I? Shit, I always forget. Mars. Tracklist, tracklist. Uh, it's hard because I'm just kind of making it up as I go, so I have to listen back to myself and I cringe at all my stories. tune was like love or hate definitely serenity called it and nixa fox says this is awful JTS, how are you, bro? If you guys don't uh, follow DJ JTS already, please rectify that immediately. Should have played the vocal mix of this. Oh well. Snary.
it's almost that time. I'm looking for seven inches of love to deliver to you for the last one. I might play one more banger first though. My bad, this is uh, DJ Pooch, how it started. take us out on. to show you something. Can you see that? Diesel Boy. Yeah, there was a punk rock band called Diesel Boy that I liked before I knew about Damien Higgins, the Diesel Boy DJ. Strap on 7 inch. Well, fuck, if there isn't more apt an ending to a show, it's that right there. It's a Thursday tune, it's a punk rock tune, but I'm going to play it anyway.
really is going to be quite a remarkable contrast. So Strap On 7 Inch is the name of the EP. And uh, the last one for this evening, Punk Rock 101 by uh, Diesel Boy. Well, thanks for joining in, friends. I had a great time tonight. The stream was on fire. The chat was on fire. And uh, if you're podcasting this, well, thank you very much also. I can't thank you in person like I can my friends in the stream. Maybe next time jump in uh, when we're live and uh, get into the bands. Bands was good tonight. We talked about drugs. Surprise, surprise. Raving, licking your earlobes. Uh, Gaz's hat collection, uh, not talking about Pendulum on Tuesdays, um, everyone asking me questions about Rob, you know, unusual shit, it was a win, MLK, thanks for jumping in, I appreciate it man, it's nice to uh, virtually see you again after all these years, uh, never long enough, says Storm Aries, I do agree, um, I do agree, I think maybe... <laughs> Norilock says, next time go longer. I bet you say that to all the boys. Uh, good luck to Muzz for his album coming out this week. Releasing an album is fucking harrowing, terrifying experience. But uh, he's a magician and he'll smash it. Nixa Fox, nice to uh, see you virtually once again after all these years. Sorry for teasing you on Technoscape about listening to Hardcore. I must have liked it. I just didn't want to admit it. Obviously, I own all these records. So, yeah. Discultured. Keep spreading them to get the custom emotes. Yeah, I've got to get some emotes done. I need some more. Uh, Lou Swire says, thanks again, Paul. Thank you for jumping in. Uh, Julian, as always, respect. Bucky, thank you, sir. TJ, H.A. Solar, Sheriff Kev, always. Mars. You guys are cool, man. All right, this is, uh, if, I, if I said thanks to all of you individually, we'll be here forever. Let's play some Seven Inches of Love by American punk rock band Diesel Boy. Uh, don't forget to strap up. See you later. Oh, Thursday night, rock and roll, metal, hardcore, band music from my record collection. I don't podcast those ones because I can only do two a week apparently, so um, I'll stick those on SoundCloud. If you want to jump in, uh, same time, same place. And the, oh yeah, raid. Um, if you can find someone to raid, I'll, uh, I'll set that up. I'll have a look myself, but yeah, cause this is going to be a fucking short seven inches. <laughs> okay, let's go. See you later. Today, what a lyric. The fucking end. Thanks, gang. Check you on Thursday. Let's go raid Mr. Gutter. 
and uh, listen to his soothing drum and bass sounds. Peace out.